How's it going, guys? Right now, I am 30 minutes away from a hour drive to go pick up a front lip for the GR86. And then we've got to give her a bath because it hasn't been washed in two weeks. And I took it over the pass to go see some of the homies in Yakima, go see the Burt Kreischer Comedy Festival, which was dope. And we have a car show today. So the plan is haul ass to Northgate, pick up this front lid, haul ass down to Kent, go to my buddy's house, install the front lid, and then wash the car and get to the car show on time. Honestly, it's probably not going to get put on the car today, but who knows? By some grace of God, we might make it. Should be at Northgate about 8 a.m. Have to be at the car show for rolling at 11.30. Gives us roughly three hours for me to load it in the car, get to Kent, install it on the car, wash the car, and then us take off. So, we'll see what happens. Took a walk through the garden, goddamn I feel like the Knicks You would think my name is Derek, for all these roses I sniffed I think I'm tripping off the fumes, focus not to fall over, need this way Well, other than my car being trashed, because I still haven't cleaned it yet The splitter is in, and it fits Barely But it fits Well, I came straight out to Mill Creek, just to get to where the car show is going to take place ended up getting here about three hours early just because i figured driving all the way back to tacoma or down to kent to try and pull the bumper off install the splitter and everything was gonna take too long and risk us being late so i've just been looking at different mods and parts I can buy for the ZJ that I bought and trying to figure out the Jeep build while sitting around waiting for this car show to start hanging out with this taking up half the car it's a good time so we will do a install video later and throw it in with these couple of minutes worth of recording and see how well that turns out but should be pretty easy should be like 20 little fasteners because you have to take part of the inside bumper out and then drill some holes and all that shenanigans but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it got about an hour before the guys get here and then an hour and a half before the show starts and like a total of five hours before I get back home and do this install so I will see you guys in a bit all right so now that I'm finally home I'm gonna do the splitter install and to start you need to remove the front bumper so that's gonna be all of this stuff so just a couple of plastic clips and I believe tens seems like a ten yeah a couple of tens once you pull all those off this will come up and then you will come through and do the fender liners and from there once you do both sides you do the bottom once that's done, you can just grab it, pull it off, and then disconnect the side markers. If you're going to be doing this, I highly recommend you at least have like saw horses and a person to help you, if not multiples. But right now I've got it clamped and set up on some cones, so I just got to make sure everything's right. And then I can start drilling the holes and bolting it on. So far, the install is going pretty smoothly for me doing it by myself. 
but I clamped it spent like 45 minutes making sure everything was lined up then I started with doing the top center or front center and then the two sides closest I'm leaving the clamps on there just to be safe while I'm drilling it and everything's tightened down I'm using the Phillips head with my impact gun that is also being used as the drill and the 7 16th wrench to make sure that everything is tight for those three as well as the clamps to make sure it doesn't move I have four more holes to drill and then I can tighten everything when you're doing these so essentially any of them except for these bottom two just be careful because it will come through and pop through the top if you're not paying attention you can feel when it punctures through I mean you don't even have to use a lot of pressure and it'll start going I'm literally using no pressure and it's starting to drill it out and then just barely pushing on it it pops right through and then because this bit's a little bit small I'm just working it around to open up the hole and I haven't been recording because doing it one-handed it does move around quite a bit and then you can see it's jumping and I'm hitting it but the hole's big enough and then you just throw the hardware in well now that the splitter is installed and the bumpers back on looks pretty good overall it's pretty easy definitely easier if you have help I didn't record putting it back on because it's just reversing the process of taking the bumper off the hardest part is getting it lined up in the back but if you have a second person ridiculously easy I would say it took maybe an hour for me to do it total and that was with me by myself until my roommate got home and helped me put the bumper back on so if you do it completely by yourself set aside like two hours of your day just to be safe but this thing's pretty sick it's not stupid aggressive it's a little aggressive but it's a screaming deal for the 120 bucks that i picked it up for and now we're gonna go do a photo shoot meet up with one of my potential future customers for the shop uh, talk about what we're gonna do to his gt86 that's neptune blue so look forward to some content on that potentially coming soon now that we've got this done i can wrap up the z and once the z is wrapped up then i can bring the jeep home and we can start doing some off-roading stuff but i will see you guys in the next one